Hello and welcome to Wednesday Live with Evie. This is number, I don't know what number it is off the top of my head, but today we're talking about what do you need to do uh, to set yourself up for success in 2019. So if you already had some ideas of things that you're you're wanting to get done by the end of the year that will really set you up for success and what you want to be doing in 2019, you know, put those in the comments below. I'd love to see what those are. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Evie Burke, and I help women entrepreneurs take their productivity to a new level so they don't have to think about at the end of the day or worry at the end of the day about what didn't get done today or what do I need to be doing tomorrow because they know what is on the agenda. They know what needs to get done so that they are meeting the goals that they want to and they don't have to worry about that. And instead, they can spend their non-working hours just being completely present with the people that they love. So, like I said, today's topic is about what do you need to do to set yourself up for success in 2019? And full disclosure, I'm, I'm borrowing the topic here a little bit from um, Terry Vanover, who leads the Wesos uh, Plainfield chapter, where I am going to be sponsoring and on the panel today or this evening. So if you're not from this area or you are and you don't know what Wesos is, it's Women Entrepreneurs Secrets of Success. And you can uh, you can find them online if you search for them. And it's a place I network a lot. So I know a number of people who watch me. Uh, I have found or have found me through Wesos. It's a great place to be. And Terry set up this topic this evening to be, you know, setting yourself up for 2019. And I was thinking about that as I was on my way home um, from somewhere else this morning. and what what that means. And I asked this question for my unnamed productivity uh, group ladies probably last month. And the question was, what do you need to be doing now in 2018 or before the end of the year? Because we're in November, so we have not quite two months left in 2018. What do you need to be doing now or what do you want to be doing now to really set yourself up for success in 2019? And what I mean by that is, what are the things you want to be doing in 2019? How, what are, are there programs you want to be offering? Are there ways you want to be promoting yourself? Um, are you showing up bigger in some way? Like, what does 2019 look for you? What do you look like for you? What do you want it to look like for you? And then what are those things that you need to be doing now or figuring out now so that when you get into 2019, you're ready? You're prepared. You've laid that foundation for yourself. And those might be things that maybe programs you're launching, maybe clients you're looking to connect with. But it also might be the learning you need to be doing, um, the groundwork you need to be laying for yourself. So I know a lot of times for me, December, especially the last couple of weeks, are really times where I kind of pull inward. And I really think about, okay, what is it that I need to be clearer about? How might I refine how I talk about myself or um, tweak what, what is on that sales page or, you know, whatever that might be. So sometimes it's a really good time, too, to look at how do you want to tweak or modify some of those things that have been working for you, but maybe could be working for you a little bit better, or maybe things that aren't quite working for you as well as you want them to be, and you're hoping that you can you can help them work better for you. And again, that might be in how you talk about yourself, that might be um, learning a new tool, maybe you want to be doing more things on Facebook, so you want to learn more about Facebook or Instagram or fill in the blank, right? Maybe you want to be out networking more, so you want to find other places to network or um, something like that. So, you know, you maybe you do your research now. Maybe you're looking to launch some big project or product or service next year. 
And so you're looking at growing your audience, whether that's a newsletter or Facebook or something else. You're looking to really lay that foundation and grow that audience now. What What is that for you? Hey, Karen, I see you liked it. Let me see. I'm not getting... Let's see if I can... Here we go. There we go. Okay, what? yeah, Mary, what is that? I have to mute it. Uh, so Mary shared the link to the Plainfield uh, group in the comments. So check that out. And while you're thinking about what you need to set up, you know, now, be where you want to be in 2019, think about also the way that you are taking care of the things that you need to be doing. And what I mean by that is, I was talking to uh, someone the other day and she said, well, would it be a good, uh, is somebody who says if I could just get more organized, be somebody to refer to you? And yes, if, if that's talking about um, somebody who is looking at more, being more organized in their business, then yes, absolutely. That's what I help people do. Um, organize their ideas, their projects, their tasks, their the decisions they have to make so that they know what needs to get done in all of those areas or what decisions need to be made or what ideas might need to be moved forward so that they can do the things that they want to do in their business. They can have the success that they want to have. And so look at that in your business too. What, what do you need to maybe organize or become clear on in your business or in the way you do things or the way you manage things so that 2019 is easier for you, so that there's not so many frustrating parts to, to your days or your weeks. And if anybody has any questions about this, you know, let me know because there's, there's a lot here that I could go into, but unless we want to be here for the next two hours, I don't know that it's helpful to go down all of the avenues that we could go down in this, this, this topic. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at the rest of November and December. What is it that you want to be laying the groundwork for now or want to become um, more solid or clear on right now so that in 2019, you are where you want to be so that you are ready to go with the things that you want to be moving forward. And the the wording that keeps popping up for me is so you can hit the ground running, but I don't know that I necessarily like that term 100% either. So uh, that's a discussion for another day. So anyway, that is it for today's Wednesday Live with Evie. I would love for you to share below, you know, what what is it that you're going to be doing between now and the end of 2018 to really set yourself up for the success that you envisioned for yourself in 2019. So until next week, much love. Bye, everybody.